When you look at diabetes, where it affects one in 10 of the population here in the U.S., and we don't have programs uh, here addressing that, that's, a, um, that's a, an opportunity as, um, as I see it. Um, and so how can we support ECHO programs, around, not just around the U.S., but around the world, support about 10% of the population who don't have access to, to specialists and who are in dire need in this kind of pandemic of, of diabetes. I mean, look, diabetes, it's, there's really no other condition out there. 24 hours a day, seven days a, a, a week, no vacation from it, and no one pays you to do the job. It's overwhelming, and then it's exhausting. And you ask someone living with diabetes, you know what, take time off work, drive an hour or two, wait in the wait room to go to see a specialist who spends maybe 15 minutes with you and, and maybe blames and shames you about how you're doing with control. That doesn't make you feel really good as someone living with a chronic condition like diabetes. So to be able to stay close to home with a, a clinician who you've got a rapport with, um, who's empowered through the ECHO uh, model to manage diabetes just as well, if not better, than the specialists. Just the overlap of diabetes and the ECHO model, the two are just have been made for each other. Lack of specialists, not enough endocrinologists, poor outcomes and system failure for people living with diabetes, disparities amongst the poor outcomes affecting the more vulnerable, underserved communities, and you've got lack of confidence of frontline providers managing complex conditions like diabetes. So bread and butter diabetes to, um, uh, with, with the ECHO movement. As a community, we need to uh, come together and support more countries around the world in low middle income countries to address this diabetes um, pandemic that we're confronting. My moral case about ECHO and diabetes is that uh, programs around the world who are doing Project ECHO, they're passionate about disparities. They're passionate about serving the underserved, about moving knowledge. Um, and if you look at one of the biggest crises, health crises and social in the U.S. around the world is diabetes. And how can a institution, a program that's, that believes in the Project ECHO model, ignore diabetes? I, I, morally, I would say you, you can't, and, and we need to support you to do more diabetes-related ECHO programming.